Hey guys, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube. And welcome back to our part 2 of what needs to be in Little Nightmares character concepts for the shopping mall. So in the first part we explored the abandoned shopping mall and the security guard and the characters, the siblings. And considering that this is a part 2 video, please do be sure to check out part 1. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. Also, once again, a very big thank you to Jafer over on Twitter for designing today's enemy, the Toymaker. Now just before we start today's video, we here at Gamers have been reading the comments section and we want to clarify what this exactly is. So with the What Needs to Be in Little Nightmares series, these aren't necessarily demands for Tarsia or Bandai to make these games or include this in a possible 3 or DLC. These are pretty much just fun character ideas that we can come up with and share a story as well. And also, with all these character concepts we've had, whether it be the farmer, the clown, the security guard, the dentist, we don't really expect them all to be in One Little Nightmares 3 or Little Nightmares DLC. But regardless, these are just some fun ideas and some creative writing that we can show, and I hope you guys have fun and enjoy them as well. And lastly guys, if you could please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty, let's get into the part 2 of the shopping mall, The Toymaker. So in the last video, we explored the Pale City Shopping Centre. An abandoned shopping mall filled with empty rundown stores, disgusting food courts and a sinister security guard. This creepy looking mall cop would patrol the grounds of the shopping centre and apprehend any intruders that they came across. The little intruders that have snuck into this mall are the siblings. A brother and sister that are exploring the mall in search for a present for the little sister's birthday. In the part 1 video, the siblings escaped the clutches of the security guard and found themselves in an abandoned toy store. Although, the siblings soon discover that this toy store is not abandoned at all. As the shutter slams shut, a big shadowy figure looms over the siblings. It's here where the siblings' new nightmare begins. The siblings quickly duck and hide as the long spider-like shadow climbs over them. The brother peeks out to have a look and sees a long-armed figure rummaging through scattered toys trying to find the little intruders that have entered their toy store. As this shadowy figure gets closer, they get a better view of the terrifying character. We are now introduced to the Toymaker. A creepy looking old man with four long spider-like arms, two legs and a disturbing look on their face. The toy maker appears to be wearing a dirty workshop apron filled with strange looking tools. Just as the toy maker goes to reach for the hiding siblings, they hear something fall and smash in the distance. The toy maker quickly goes to investigate. As he enters the back room of the store, he grabs an old box of strange looking toys and empties the box out on the floor. The obscure looking toys snap together and come to life. The strange, defective toys start searching the area for the little intruders. The siblings crawl out from under the toy truck and start searching around for the perfect toy for the little sister. As they look around at all the old dusty shelves, they see nothing but empty boxes and odd looking toys. Whilst walking around and looking at all the toys on the shelves, the siblings turn the corner and they're noticed by the strange looking toys. These toys have been made by the toy maker, but these must be his defective batch. These toys look quite disturbing and appear to be sentient, much like the mannequins we saw in the hospital in Little Nightmares 2. As the creepy toys charge towards the siblings, the brother spots an old toy mallet. The brother picks up the mallet as his little sister stands behind him. In this gameplay sequence, you'd have to protect yourself and your little sister from the defective toys. The brother would have to use the mallet to attack the enemies and keep them both safe. The brother would have to strike the toys at the correct time, much like Mono in the hospital with the hand, or in the school with the bullies. If the brother missed any attacks with the mallet, they would get attacked by the toys and it would be a game over sequence. The different types of toys would consist of a disturbing looking wooden duck with a sharp tooth bill that would snap ferociously at the siblings. And also there'd be a twisted contorted wooden doll that would creep closer and closer towards the player. You'd have to be careful not to let this creepy doll get too close or it'll injure the siblings with its many rusty nails sticking out of its body. 
One by one, the disturbing looking toys would try to attack the siblings. The brother would use the mallet to smash the toys into pieces and try to survive this group of dangerous toys. After this battle with the defective toys, the brother then drops the mallet as they continue to search for the perfect present. They come across a dusty old shelf with multiple toys, a stuffed bear, a wind up monkey and an interesting looking music box. The little sister stares at all the old toys on the shelf and points to the music box. It appears that they finally found the perfect gift for the little sister. As they walk towards the shelf, out of nowhere a long arm grabs the music box. Without noticing the children, the toy maker has grabbed the music box and takes it into the back room. The siblings now have to quickly find their way into the back room and retrieve the music box from the toy maker. As they slowly open up the back door, we now come to the next location, the workshop. The workshop is a disturbing looking area littered with spare doll parts, bits and pieces of toys lying around on the shelf and on the floor. The siblings see the toy maker at his workbench with the music box in front of him. The toy maker is going to smash the music box to get some spare parts to make his twisted toys. The siblings cannot let this happen to the music box. In this gameplay segment, the siblings would have to try and distract the toy maker so the other one can steal the music box off the workshop bench. The older brother would have to climb up on the shelves and tip over multiple glass jars and toy parts to distract the toy maker. Whilst the toy maker would be distracted, the little sister would climb up on the workbench and try to slowly sneak up and steal that music box. I feel like this could be a really tense and interesting gameplay segment. Every time the toy maker returns to his workbench and is about to smash the music box, the brother would have to quickly find another object to smash. As for the sister sneaking towards the music box, she'd have to hide behind bits and pieces of broken toys every time the toy maker returns. Whilst the toy maker's back is turned, she quickly grabs the music box. But as she does, the toy maker notices her. The little sister quickly makes a break for it and quickly climbs down the workbench with the music box in her hands. The brother is also down on the ground waiting for her. The toy maker furiously chases the siblings out of the workshop and through the toy store, knocking over all the racks and shelving with his long spider-like arms. As the siblings run and jump over all the old broken toys on the ground, they finally reach the shutter door. Quickly, the brother starts to pull on the chain to lift the door inch by inch as the toy maker quickly approaches. The toy maker can't reach the children as there's a fallen shelving rack covering them. The toy maker tries to reach his spider-like arms through the rack and tries to grab the siblings. In this gameplay segment, the siblings would have to dodge the toy maker's hands whilst also strategically trying to open the shutter when they can. They do this by pulling on the chain when it's safe to do so and they would open it inch by inch. So when you let go of the chain, the shutter door would start to close again. So the player would have to be quick and also careful. Once the siblings have finally opened the shutter door just enough for them to escape, they squeeze under and make it outside of the toy store. The siblings start to run away from the toy store when all of a sudden the toy maker lifts the shutter with all four hands, causing a loud slam. The sudden shocking noise causes the little sister to trip. When she trips, the music box falls out of her hands and slides forward on the floor. As the music box comes to a stop, we then see a large boot come down and crush the music box. The siblings then look up to see the security guard right in front of them. The children run for their lives as the toy maker and the security guard start to chase after them. As the siblings run towards the entry of the store, they see the security guard press a button on a remote as a gate slams shut and traps them. As the two antagonists slowly approach the trapped children, we then cut to the security guard's surveillance room. We see a shadowy little figure watching the monitors. Their little hand presses one of the buttons on the console. We then come back to the children as the second gate closes on the security guard and the toy maker. They now can't reach the children as they try to claw through this second gate. 
The siblings soon realise that the first gate starts to open behind them. As the siblings exit the mall, the little sister walks sadly alongside her brother. Then, all of a sudden, an object falls in front of them from above. The little sister reaches down and picks up an old teddy bear that has a note attached to it. The note incorrectly spells, Happy Birthday. The little sister happily hugs the bear as they both walk off into the distance. The camera then pans to the roof as we see the little shadowy character watching the happy siblings walk further into the pale city. Alrighty guys, that's all we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. Now, this is the ending of the two-part series that we had of the shopping mall. Also guys, make sure to comment down below what you thought of the toy maker, the abandoned shopping mall, the siblings, and all over the two-part series of the Pale City Shopping Center. Anyway guys, well until the next video, I'll catch you later. Bye.